Michelle is tired. Oh my goodness. I keep moving everything around to try to find a good spot with good lighting. I'm tuckered out. <laughs> Good start, right? Great start to be exhausted. Okay, anyway, I am in a different spot, duh, right? Um, Cause the sun was, was not doing it for me today. So anyway, um, clearly back with another haul, right? Um, in my last video, I talked about how we were going on vacation and we did, I was smart for once in my life and actually decided to divide this haul into two. So, the stuff I'm going to show you right now is stuff that I thrifted before we left for the vacation that I haven't shown you yet, and then stuff that I've thrifted this week since we got back. So we got back Monday. Today is Thursday, so like, you know, a little bit of my thrifting those those days since we've been back. And then I'll show you the stuff from the um, trip in a completely different haul. So that way we're not going to be here for the next three hours. <laughs> I didn't get too much stuff on the trip because we had to fly, but like enough, you know, enough. Okay, so I guess I'm just, I don't know. I always try to put everything like based on where I got it because it just organizes my crazy brain, but I don't know. Had to move everything like five times. So here we are sitting in trash. Yesterday, I went thrifting, not really on purpose, like kind of just, I left to get a sandwich and then you know how it is. You're like, oh, well, there's like thrifts like right here. So I'm gonna go check them out. And then Goodwill's also like an evil temptress because they like text me when they're doing special like sales and deals. So I was like, yeah, okay, okay, all right, I'll check it out. Um, but there was nothing at Goodwill and there was nothing at the thrift store that was right next to the sandwich spot. But there was another thrift store that was like, just a little ways down and I have this really bad habit of like if I don't find anything I like to just kind of like keep going until I do which is terrible but anyway um I found some cool stuff so um they were putting out these I found like four little pictures I'm going to show you and they were putting them out right when I came in so I feel like lately all the best stuff that I've been finding is like as soon as they're putting it out, I'm being able to nab it. And it didn't used to be like that. I used to be able to like find tons of good stuff that was still um, on the shelves and everything. But now it's like, as soon as it comes out, gotta get it. All right, so these are super cool. They are um, little antique Indian paintings. Um, and they are painted, sorry for the glare. They're painted on leaves. So they're painted on um, olive tree leaves, which are considered um, sacred. So this one's my favorite, so that's why I just start with it. <laughs> but it's an oil painting and they literally painted on the skeleton of these like leaves. They're kind of dusty, but. So um, I got a set of four, this lady. I like the little chains in the back too, kind of cool. This lady is neat. Another lady. And then this is my second favorite. She's cool. Right? Isn't she so cool? I love all the pots on her head. Very rad. So I was super excited to grab those. They were only a dollar each. So that was also awesome. Um, I got those at Salvation Army. So then i went to goodwill on tuesday so we got back from the trip on monday and like late so we were super tired and then monday i sadly had to go to work and do a training um but i was rewarded for going because um i found some good stuff at goodwill that's like right next to my school so i i'm, I'm happy about it Okay, so the first thing are just some little brass like wall decor pieces from Peru and I just really like llamas so I cannot ever, I can never resist a good llama. So, and they have like these little hooks so I'll probably just like sell them as a set I would have to think but they're really cool. So that's the smallest. Then there's this one which is also really neat, little llama. And then the largest one. So that's pretty cool. This one was $3 and the other two 
aren't marked. So probably like a dollar, I would have to guess for the other two, because this is a pretty, um, like fairly priced Goodwill. Their stuff isn't crazy overpriced, which is a delight for me. Okay, um, then I found this little, I guess he's like bamboo and um, wicker. He's really cute and wood too, um, but this little shelf. So he's got little hooks on the back and he's super, super cool. Very boho, but really cool. He's got some like stains on him, but like where people had plants, I think. And he's definitely very dusty, but how pretty in boho is that? This would be really cute in a bathroom. This was a dollar, like what, why? Um, but I'm super excited about it. So this was also coming out on the cart and I was like, yay. It does have like a tiny little bit of damage right here, you can see, but you know, it's old. So what do you expect? Um, so that was very exciting. Oh, then I got some glassware and then I promptly um, took it home and broke it. So that's fun. I've been breaking a lot of stuff lately, which almost makes me feel like maybe I'm thrifting too much if I like I'm just breaking stuff. I don't know because I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's a conspiracy theory, but I'm not like a breaker of things. But lately it's been bad. It's been really bad. Um, so I got a set of four, now three, of these champagne flutes. They're really pretty though. Um, I'm really bummed that I have three because four was like perfect, but what can you do? Um, they're like the bohemian glass and they are really pretty because they have like the raised flowers on them. So this one's kind of like, of course I didn't break this one. I broke like a light blue one that was so pretty of course um this guy a little blue and then green cool right i also got some christmas stuff but i'm gonna do a like holidays in july um thrift haul so i put i put it there to show you later um oh then i got this cool phone those glasses were three dollars each so a little more um for five dollars but it's super cool obviously it's not like old old but it's definitely 70s or possibly 60s even um it was made in korea so i would have to look it up to know like when exactly but it's definitely not like a modern reproduction but it's pretty cool right is that fun i don't know i thought that was really fun so yeah, $5 for that, not too shabby. Um, okay, all right, so then, um, ooh, I'm accidentally giving you like a sneaky peeky of one of the other things I got. Um, okay, you guys, I'm so excited. So Maybe you're not gonna be that excited and you're gonna be like, you really made us excited and it's not that exciting, but I'm really excited. Okay, I got a set of three, not four, but still three Cinderella bowls that are like literally perfect. And you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, it's the friendship pattern. So this is the only pattern that I collect. I have a lot of other <laughs> Pyrex that I've just like picked up over the years that I need to sell, but it's a pain to ship. Um, and I use, I have like a lot of workhorse Pyrex that I actually use, but as far as Pyrex that I actually collect, um, the only thing I'm really interested in collecting is the friendship. So finding this and finding friendship, like even finding it at like our antique malls is hard to do, like let alone, at Goodwill. I like asked the guy, I was like, so this is gonna sound like a weird question, but do you have any more of this stuff in the back? And he literally just stared at me. I was like, okay, so maybe not then, sorry. <laughs> um, but this one is $3. Um, this guy was five, and then the other big guy is five. So I'm just missing the, I think the 403 maybe. I believe um, it's like an orange, but it's a solid color. So the solid color ones 
are definitely a lot cheaper than the ones with the actual like the pattern so um i'm just probably gonna bite the bullet there's i mean i guess i could thrift it but like the chances of me thrifting it in the next decade are pretty slim so i'll probably just buy the fourth bowl like on etsy um and then i'll have this set i have um a cinderella bowl set of the um, butterfly gold and also of like the brown mushroom ones that are not like really that pretty but I use them anyway um, but this is this is what I've been looking for guys so um, that was definitely well worth that trip to Goodwill and I cannot believe I found that so 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 excited yeah 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 <laughs> All right, so before we went on the trip, I did stop and get a few things. Um, let's see. I kind of already gave you like a little sneaky peeky of this cool Afghan. Um, oh, I guess I'm showing it the wrong way, actually. So I guess I'm kind of like a little bit of an Afghan snob. Um, I really only pick them up if they're like really cool. And I just thought this was super neat and in really good condition, not stinky. So yeah, I don't know. I just really, really love it. It's actually soft too. Like not like really soft, but not like itchy. Um, so it's probably more of like an acrylic than a true wool. I'm not really sure. But anyway, I just think it's really, really cute. So I think I paid $3 for it. So that was worth it. Um, all right, then at that same thrift store, it was a mustard seed. Oh gosh, I found this bowl. So what's kind of funny is I was walking out, I wasn't gonna buy anything. And then I found this bowl and it like rejuvenated me and got me excited. So then that's when I found the Afghan. <laughs> Weird, right? Um, but it's beautiful. It's this light blue. It does have like a manufacturing flaw right here where they didn't quite cover the pottery with glaze, but it's not a chip, so I'm cool with it. Um, and it's so pretty. I mean, come on, look at that color. So this was $5 and I would say well worth $5. So that was cool. Um, and then I went to a couple Goodwills also. So I found these guys, which also, I don't know if I chipped this, this guy or not, but I'm going to say I probably did knowing me cause I'm a mess. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, but anyway, I just thought they were so cute. So I couldn't leave them behind. They were a dollar each. Um, and they're little candle holders. This guy has like a substantial chip in him now though. And I don't know if it's from me washing them or like maybe I just didn't notice when I bought it. I honestly don't know. But I just thought they were really cute little lions. So um, I, I grabbed them. They're kind of kitschy, but I just thought that they would be, somebody would think they're pretty fun. So nab those. Um, then I just got this little planter. It says it was $5, which is a little bit much, but you know, whatever. It just says Japan on the bottom, but I like the size of it. Um, I thought it would be really useful for like makeup brushes. <laughs> I know that's weird, but um, I don't know. I like that it was kind of long and yeah, I thought it was pretty. Is that pretty? Um, the White Pepper Vintage on Instagram. She doesn't have a YouTube, but she's on Instagram and she's like, oh the best ever she finds the coolest stuff and she's like so 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 good at making it pretty like making the pictures look gorgeous anyway um she uses these but in yellow um to organize all her makeup and her cosmetics and it looks really really cool so that's sort of where i got the idea um so i'm not really sure i mean i would also use it as a planter obviously but um it would be really neat to hold like cosmetics and stuff like that. So maybe that's what it will do, not sure. Um, okay, then I found this little painting from 1980. I wish it was still in its frame, but it's okay. It's just like a sweet little church. Um, I don't know, something kind of like folky and just sweet about it. Um, I love original art and paintings, so. I think that was a dollar, 
it definitely wasn't more than a dollar. So I feel like it was worth it. Um, then I found this Irish, I believe it's Cared Craft, um, little mug. So I just thought that was sweet. I liked the patterns on the bottom and the little four leaf clovers. I thought it was nice. So I picked that up for 99 cents. Um, this is really cool. So I believe it's a dog bowl. I think it would make a perfect dog bowl if it is not intended to be such or cat bowl. Um, but it's this really nice, beautiful pottery. It's signed on the bottom. Um, and it's such a pretty glaze and it's like nice and thick and just, I don't know, the glaze just feels really nice. So I just couldn't leave it. I thought it was so cool. Um, it was $1.99, but I would definitely use it for cabbage if she wouldn't break it, but she would 100% break it. So I use like old enamel, um, bowls for cabbage cause she can't be trusted. <laughs> she gets mad and just like throws everything. Um, okay. Then I found this little souvenir plate, but I loved that it had a little easel that it came with. I thought that was so sweet. And I did feel a little bit guilty about this because somebody had hidden it. So our Goodwill has, um, pretty high shelves that they use as like, um, staging. They just put random stuff up there and, um, someone had hidden this like behind the other staging stuff. I can't even believe I found it to be honest. I think I was just like kind of being grumpy because I hadn't really found anything and I was like bound and determined to find something. So this is super cute, but oh, I'm trying to take the tag off so you can see the little bird, but I guess it doesn't really matter. It was $3 and there's like a little bird up there. He's like a little cardinal, but it says, this is my house and I'll do as I darn please. So I thought that's pretty hilarious. I love like when people of like your were just sassy. I don't know. Like when you look at their pictures, you think of everybody as being so prim and proper and then you read stuff like this and you find like inappropriate mugs and magnets and stuff and you're like hmm okay guys okay okay all right um oh then I found this super excited about this look at that isn't it lovely so I love paintings um obviously like who doesn't but um, this is an oil painting on, um, a board, not on like a canvas. And I just thought it was lovely. I wish it was framed obviously, but it doesn't need to be. It's still really cool. And what's fun about it is it is dated. So there's a little note on the back. So it says August 21st, 1970. And, um, it says picture painted by Ella Broddington in the fall, daughter of William Broddington. And it is as a memento of a very happy visit to Toronto, Canada. Isn't that sweet? I just think that's so sweet. And it was a dollar. Goodwill was weird. Like I, maybe I'm just weird and the things I value, like other people are like, that's trash. But I just think it's so pretty and charming. And like, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, very happy to find it. Very happy that it was a dollar. So all good things. Um, okie dokie. Gotta move some stuff. Gotta move some stuff. Gotta move some stuff. I picked this up and I know it's a little wonky or maybe weird. I don't really know. Hello. This is my plant. My couch. Um, okay. But I just thought it was cool. So it is real, <laughs> um, like steer horns that have been attached to this old antique board. And I don't know, I just thought it was super cool. It has a little like leather string on the back and I just kind of liked how shabby it was, how it's sort of like falling apart. I liked these old grommets. I don't know, I just thought it was really, really neat. There's something very like funky and like, I don't know, interesting about it. But I've seen a few people actually collect these and they look so neat all together. And I've seen a few at antique stores. So I don't really know like the whole background 
behind it, but it was $10, which is a little bit much, but I just thought it was so cool that I couldn't. Then I found it. like a few pictures, which is always like a blessing and a curse because it's like, okay, um, they're cool and I'm happy that I found them, but they're heavy and they take up a lot of space and they're hard to ship. So yeah, um, but I couldn't leave them behind. So this is just like a little winter scene. Um, I loved the frame, like loved the frame. But I also love this little winter scene. So um, it's handmade. It is needlework. I forget the type of needlework though, um, because it's not like needlepoint. But anyway, I guess I can look it up. But I just thought it was really sweet. And the frame, the frame. Look at the frame. So good, right? So good. Um, then I grabbed this painting. I just thought it was neat um it's from 1985 oops so it's just like a little um i believe i want to say um japanese oil painting but i loved the bamboo frame and i liked the fact that it's like an original oil i feel like usually when i find things like this they're prints so I was really, really excited to find an original oil. So, cool. Pretty, right? So I couldn't leave it. Um, okay, then I found like a ridiculous picture, but I, again, couldn't leave it. Um, I went through like a whole phase, like a phase, where I was obsessed with, I guess I'm not even like out of that phase really, but like I went through a hardcore, like obsessed with kitschy, like cute, animals like which I still am but I mean I had a whole gallery wall of like cruels of animals like it was it was for real so if I would have found this cruel that I'm about to show you like eight years ago I probably would have cried um which is why I had to buy it just for nostalgia it's also cool but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it um because I'm not really I don't want to hang it in the house I don't think but maybe I will I don't know um it's pretty charming. So I think other people will like it too, except for the fact that it's enormous. <laughs> so it's really, really big, um, but it's really, really cool. So it's got a little raccoon, a squirrel. It's got these really sweet deer and mushrooms. And then these cute little bunnies, little loaf, little bunny loaf, um, and this neat tree. So it says, come forth into the light of things. Let nature be your teacher. William Wordsworth. Cool, right? And it is dated 1984. I always love when they date these and sign them. It just makes it feel really special. So anyway, it's lovely. I couldn't leave it. It was, um, it was 20 bucks actually, which I didn't even realize until just now. <laughs> But I still couldn't leave it because I loved it. Um, how much was everything else? This one was 10. And um, I don't even know how much the other one was. I think probably 10 as well. No, five. Five. Okay, so, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> but cute, really cute, right? Okay, so that is all my like random goodwill things that I found um and like other little thrift stores around that I've popped into sort of like on my way to go to other places but on our way from on our way home from um, Minnesota we flew into Fort Lauderdale which is quite a ways away from where we actually live and there is a really cool um red white and blue thrift store there um well not really it's in Hialeah so basically Miami um so really far from where we live and I never get to go there it's the same company as my like favorite thrift store that I always talk about that's like kind of overpriced but also like super awesome so worth it um so anytime I go there it doesn't matter day night weekend holiday doesn't matter I leave with a cart full of things and this was no different I literally like and the most annoying thing is they only take cash um, they do have an ATM, but like, I don't know. It's just, 
you feel a way about spending like a crazy amount of money when it's cash, maybe I should use cash more often because then I would actually think about what I'm buying instead of just buying it all. But that's a problem for another day. Um, I literally like stood forever trying to figure out what I wanted and like what I could put back and it, it was rough. It was rough on me guys, it was rough. But I got a lot of really cool stuff. So the first thing I got was just this um, pottery plate. It's probably not that exciting. I just really like this blue. It's gonna go nicely with my other pottery pieces. And I kind of, when I have friends over, I like to do like, all kinds of little nibbles and like charcuterie and stuff um, in different little bowls and plates and things like that. So this is gonna be very, very useful for me. So it's kind of like useful vintage that's not super exciting, but like cool. Um, it is wheel spun and it is signed. So, you know, both of those things make it cool and it was $4, so not too, not too shabby. Um, then I found this really cool brass um, candle. Oh, I guess it's not a candlestick. Oh, yeah, I guess it. I don't know, guys. I don't know. You'll have to tell me. Maybe it's like for incense. I think it would make more sense if it was for incense. So maybe that's the point. But you could put little like tea candles there if you wanted to. Um, but anyhow, I guess the point is that it's peacocks. And it's so cool. Look at this little guy in the top. Isn't he neat? And then I loved all the details on the base. I just thought that was so cool. And their little, their little jeweled eyes, right? Couldn't leave it. So that was $7.99. Um, then I was really going back and forth about whether or not to buy this little picture, but it was only $5. So I felt like I just kind of needed to grab it. Um, and I'm really glad I did now that I think about it. I believe it's from the 1940s or 50s. Um, it's Mexican folk art, but what's neat about it is it's all hand carved. So the whole picture is carved and then painted. Um, and it would have been a souvenir piece, but it's definitely an older piece. Um, so I don't know. I wasn't really 100% sure if I wanted to get it, but then I just was like five bucks, like just get it. Stop being annoying. Um, and you can see where it had like the original hooks and then somebody later on added a string. Um, I don't know. Isn't it sweet? It was worth it. It was worth five bucks. So I picked that up. Um, a lot of the stuff I actually like got from their carts. It was kind of cool to go on a Monday because they were stocking from the weekend. So they literally, we were there for like almost three hours. Poor Jordan. Um, he's a really good thrifter, but that was a long, long thrift like day for us to thrift after flying and waking up at like three o'clock in the morning and then still having to drive like a million hours home. <laughs> but it was worth it because they had cool stuff. Um, but they were just bringing carts and carts and carts and carts of stuff out. And I was like going crazy because I kept pulling more stuff in, out and being like, now what am I gonna do? I'm supposed to be paring down and I just keep finding more things. Um, this little elephant was really cute and he was $1.99. Um, so I got him just like a little brass trinket dish, like with a little enamel Ellie. So he was cool. I got two of these vintage um, candle holders. They are marked Korea on the back. They are um, Zodiac. Goodness, I couldn't think about it. So it has like all the little Zodiac signs all the way around. Or no, not Zodiac, I'm sorry. It's like the um, Chinese the Chinese years. That's super cool. I'm actually the year of the rabbit. Can you believe that? I think that's funny. Um, but anyway, I got both of them because I thought it would be cool to have a pair and I just thought they were really neat. So they were, like I said, $1.99 each. Um, and then I got another llama. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll sell this with the other ones. Um, this guy is just really, really cool. So um, he was $2.99. Then I found um, this bookend. It was $5.99. 
Sadly, they only had the one. I really wish that they would have had a set, but I still kind of like it as a statue. So I think I might just keep it and throw it like somewhere random. I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. Um, I've had these stone um, bookends before. I've had um, like a few of the, um, I don't know, like I think cactus, I believe, or cacti. Um, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. But I've never seen the hand before. Isn't that fun? Cool, right? Um, yeah, so like I said, $5.99. Um, how am I doing? Then I found a pack of all of these um, Mexican paintings. So the whole pack was $5, I think, $5.99. And I haven't even looked through them yet, to be honest with you, but I couldn't leave it. It's just so cool. So I found quite a few of these over time. Um, I've never found like a whole set like this. It would be really cool to frame them all, maybe just in like a simple black um, frame and then do like a big gallery wall because they're really lovely. They're pretty fragile too because they're from the 70s. Um, but they're just so pretty. Hope I'm not boring you by showing all of them to you, but I just think they're cool. There's a lot more in here than I even thought there were. This is wild. Oh, this one's cool. It looks unfinished like they never painted it, but. Not sure. Oh, look at this guy. That's fun. I like him. Oh, and this guy too. Really cool, right? So. Um, had to grab those. Not really sure how I'm going to sell them, um, but you know, that's a problem for another day. <laughs> then I found two purses, which is why I had to put so many other things back. Um, this one was $20, I believe. Yeah. And then the other one was, I I think I want to say like 15 I can't remember but it's just a little like bucket bag um, but it's like it's a vintage coach isn't that so cool just like a really soft brown leather so I figured that would be a hit and then I also got another brown just a little small guy so he's cute also coach um, the only problem with this one is he has like a little mark on the back so that's kind of a bummer but otherwise really cute right nice size could totally hold your phone and everything but also is small for like going out very cool and then the last thing that i got from this thrift store um is another set of pyrex dishes which is kind of funny i actually found these first before i found the friendship um so these ones will be for sale but they're gonna be hard to sell and ship but they're really pretty so i had to get them so these are, oh my gosh, you guys, they're so loud. Um, okay, I'm gonna send this flying to their death. So um, these are the Pyrex mixing bowls. They're not as old as the other ones, but what's nice about them is they're glass. Um, so, and these are in, I mean, pristine, pristine condition. I feel like whoever had this did not ever use them. Like, look at that. Come on. That's perfect. Um, 
red one has a little bit of scratches. Not terrible though. But anyway, um, this set was 20. So not like dirt cheap, but I mean for 20 bucks, definitely worth it. All right, guys. Well, hopefully that's everything. I feel like as I look around that I must have forgotten. Like, oh yeah, I almost did. See, hmm, I know myself because every time I film a video, I always forget something. And then I'm like, oh man, um, I did forget something. All right. So I got these really cool um, brass and wood nesting boxes. So they all fit in to each other, which is super rad, but they also look really neat stacked on top of each other so there's four total um so these are the two smaller ones and they just kind of have the little brass medallion um and they open up like that very nice and sturdy but they just look so cool like all together so that's the next one i just actually have these out on display at the moment because i just like them um, and I like the way they look all stacked. So this guy, and then the biggest one down here is this guy. And they do, like I was saying, they do all fit um, and stack perfectly. So that's pretty, pretty cool. I like the way the like little seams are I don't know they're pretty simple but I just thought they were really pretty so the set of all four was $24 so yeah all right so for real this time that's everything <laughs> um thank you so much for watching guys I really appreciate it and thank you to all my new subscribers hello welcome um yay <laughs> and um I don't know Look forward to my next haul. Um, that will be my things that I got when I was on vacation and a few things my best friend had waiting for me. So that was cool. And then also look for my like holiday in July, um, little like Christmas and other holiday things that I've squirreled away thus far um, to show you. So look forward to those two videos. They're coming eventually. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.